Hello and welcome everyone. Today we'll be starting with the discussion of uh, the questions carrying two marks from the chapter on the face of it, written by Susan Hill. Let us directly dive into the questions itself. What qualities of Mr. Lamb attracted Derry to him? So in this we have to give some specific qualities uh, mentioned throughout the chapter which Mr. Lamb has shown. First, Mr. Lamb was very persistent. You know, he didn't give up on uh, Derry being so sad and you know, uh, giving up on life. Despite the fact that Derry was going on and on and on about his problem, he didn't give up and he motivated him to see the positive side of the life. Secondly, Derry and Mr. Lamb, they shared some, uh, they shared physical uh, disabilities. I mean, he was, he had a half bone face, he had a ten leg. Both of them had um, a thing in common. Both of them were going through their own struggles. This was a quality that uh, attracted Mr. Lamb to Derry. And third, he was the person who was so straightforward and uh, so um, not so uh, artificial in his uh, language that made Derry realize that yes, there, this is the reality that I have to face. I cannot uh, be uh, at home crying uh, about my disability this is the reality that i have to face and i have to be happy i i should stop uh, giving importance to my disability so much so the quality of mr lamb being straightforward sharing same disability as him and him being persistent attracted uh, mr lamb towards him what did derry's mother think of mr lamb so De uh, derry's mother didn't think didn't think good of Mr. Lamb. He told Derry that, you know, she has uh, heard things about him from uh, from the people of the town. Although they are, they are uh, you know, they are living here for uh, just a span of uh, three months. But she has uh, heard many um, rumors about him being crazy. So that is what Derry's mother thinks about Mr. Lamb. And uh, she is afraid that her son should not go there. Mr. Lamb told Derry the story of a man who hid himself in his room. Why did the man do so and, what, and with what result? So the story of this man is that uh, he stayed inside because he was afraid of dying. He uh, thought that if he would go outside, he would die. Some bus, so either some bus would hit him or, uh, or a man uh, would transfer his own um, harmful bacteria to him which would make him die. So that is the reason he was so afraid to go outside and he hid him, hid himself in the room. But one day, ironically, when he was in his room, a photo fell on his head and he died. A large uh, photo frame, it uh, fell on his head and he died. So this is uh, what uh, Mr. Lamb was trying to explain to Derry that you know the uh, the things that you are uh, avoiding uh, that you are avoiding by uh, by staying inside that could happen inside too. If you're avoiding sadness and cruel comments uh, by staying inside your home, you the chances are that you could yourself be uh, so much uh, into self pity that you yourself. Uh, uh, would not stop thinking about these cruel comments. So one or the other way, you cannot escape the reality. Someone who has to give cruel comments would give cruel comments. You cannot do something about it, but you can choose to ignore such cruel comments and do not let them affect you. What does Mr. Lamb, why does, does Mr. Lamb leave his gate always open? So, uh, so Mr. Lamb leaves his gate open because he likes company. He likes children coming into his garden and uh, uh, stealing apples, you know, playing. And he likes company. So that is why he always keeps his gate open. Anyone who wants to come into the garden and go outside the garden can do so anytime. In what sense is the friendship between Mr. Lamb and Derry fruitful? So, uh, the friendship, although uh, it is new, it is very fruitful. 
because uh, on one hand there is Derry who is so sad and uh, overwhelmed with his uh, disability and on the other hand there is Mr. Lamb who is always there to um, uh, who is there to motivate him and show him the reality. So two opposites who could uh, do something uh, to uh, make uh, make both of their lives better. It's a fruitful uh, friendship. You know, both of them could do something to motivate them. On one hand, uh, Derry would uh, be a company to Mr. Lamb and uh, on the other hand, Mr. Lamb would be a motivating force to Derry. So in that sense, both of them are doing something for uh, each other. In that sense, it's a fruitful relationship. And another thing is that they have a common uh, struggle they are going through. So they understand how uh, a people, uh, a person with a disability feels, how another uh, person makes fun of them. So they know how uh, they perceive things, how uh, common they are on this ground. So in this sense also, this is a fruitful friendship. How did Derry's handicap damage his life? uh, Derry's handicap, handicap, it damaged his life on whole because on one hand it damaged uh, his physical features due to which he got cruel comments uh, day and night and on the other hand he became uh, sad, he became withdrawn and he became over occupied with this handicap. So all in all it damaged his life as a whole, his social life and his uh, mental health, all of the spheres of his life were damaged because of his handicap. What does Mr. Lamb try to tell Derry through the example of a wheat and a flower? So this example is the mention of the incident when uh, Mr. Lamb asked Derry to see what's uh, behind that wall in his garden. He says that, you know, it's rubbish. Derry says it's rubbish. But uh, Mr. Lamb says that, no, see it again. So Derry says that, yes, there are some weeds and flowers and stuff like that. So now Mr. Lamb tells him that, yes, there are weeds and flowers. Both of them are plants. Both of them grow in the same garden. But why is a flower plugged and, you know, used for decoration? And people, why do people admire a flower more and not the weed? Why do they pluck a weed out and throw it away? just because of its appearance. Through this, ex- through this example, Mr. Derry, uh, uh, Mr. Lamb is telling that people should not judge oneself, uh, uh, one uh, on the basis of his appearance. All the living beings are same. We should be treated, uh, we should be treated in the same way. Although we, although we are different, we are different in one or the other quality, but we are all same. We are all the children of God. A weed is also a plant and a flower is also a plant. Because of their appearance, uh, they are treated differently. And this should not happen. Through this example, Mr. Lamb is also trying to prove a point that wherever you go, discrimination is there. You cannot avoid it. So it's best to ignore it and move. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.